Hello everyone, it's nice to be with you all again. I hope everyone is well. Welcome to the third episode of John's Jokes. First, I will start with a picture. Do not send me emails regarding the grammar, as I realize it is incorrect. And continuing, you will notice a poster of my favorite artist in the background over my right shoulder. The jokes today are loosely based on travel jokes and are especially dedicated to Friday's travelogue group. First joke, a husband and wife are leaving on vacation the next day when the wife calls her husband at work about the car conversation is as follows wife there's trouble with the car it has water in the carburetor this is a very old joke husband water in the carburetor that's ridiculous wife i tell you the car has water in the carburetor husband i'm not even sure you know what a carburetor is i will check it out when i get home where is the car in the swimming pool, says the wife. Ta -da! And for my next joke. My flight was delayed in Toronto. Since the gate was needed for another flight, our aircraft was backed away from the terminal and we were directed to a new gate. We all found a new gate only to discover a third gate had been assigned for our plane. Finally, everyone got on board the right plane and the flight attendant announced. We apologize for the delay and the gate changes. This flight is going to Ottawa. If your destination is not Ottawa, you should deplane immediately. A moment later, a red-faced pilot emerged from the cockpit, carrying his bags. Sorry, he said, wrong plane. Da -da -da -da. My next joke <clears throat> is about the first time my mother flew in an airplane. She was a nervous wreck. During takeoff, the roar from the engines proved very reassuring for her. It meant they were working, she reasoned. But when the plane leveled off and the engines got quieter, grabbing the armrest, she asked about aloud, did we stop? A traveler stopped at a monastery and they invited him in for a delicious meal of fish and chips. After dinner, he went to the kitchen to thank the staff and asked the guy, Are you the fish fryer? And the guy said, No, I'm the chip monk. Next joke. A man and his wife were traveling down to sunny California for the honeymoon. The husband arranged to go early and check out their hotel in order to prepare it for his new wife. And upon arrival, sent his wife a quick email. But unfortunately, he misspelled the email address and it got sent to a grieving widow whose pastor husband had died the day before. When the widow checked her email, she let out a shriek and fell to the floor in a dead faint. Her husband, her children came running, would be good to see her husband come running. Anyway, her children came running to see what the matter was and saw this on the screen. Dearest wife, just checked in. Everything prepared for your arrival tomorrow. See you soon. Your loving husband. P.S. It sure is hot down here. Ta -da! And the next joke, again, husband and wife. Husband and wife were having some problems during their Florida vacation and were giving each other the silent treatment. Suddenly the man realized the next day he would need his wife to wake him at six o'clock as he had an early morning tea off time for a game of golf. But not wanting to be the first to break the silence and lose, he wrote on a piece of paper, Please wake me at 6 a.m. He left it where 
he knew his wife would find it. The next morning, the husband woke up, only discover, to discover it was nine o'clock and he had missed his tea off time. Furious, he was about to go see why his wife hadn't wakened him, when he noticed a piece of paper on the night table. The paper said, it is six o'clock, please wake up. And that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed these jokes uh, and I will see you next time.